everybody, this is Prepster Queen here again. I know I already did a video today on this, but I actually felt kind of tempted in a way to do another one. But this time, I'm going to read a fanfic that I wrote a while ago. Let me just see here. I wrote this probably... Let me double check. But like, I call it My Robotic Earth. It's another Team and T fanfic. It features Miyamoto Usagi and my OC, Rebecca. So, um, let me just see. How long ago was this, actually? I actually kind of want to know. This was five months ago. Yeah, I've had this for like five months strong now, so actually five more. And yeah, this was based off of a dream I had one time, but I just changed it so it would actually be more story-like. And basically... My OC, Rebecca, which basically is at the, is basically me. I'm in a, I'm having a vacation. Sorry, Daisy. In Tokyo with my with a pen pal OC that I'm kind of created, and then, however, after ac accidentally stumbling upon an infant, abandoned infant child, and violently attacked by him, she's raptured. I'm rescued by Yamato Usagi, and then. And then Rebecca wakes up, and then next you know, she's wondering out what happened to the baby and what she's gonna do. Excuse me, her for self-evolving. And yeah, my disclaimer right here is: while pictures, music videos, characters, websites, including, except for the exception of my OC Rebecca, but I'm Rebecca Boyner, just so just put just put a disclaimer right there. Just so we're clear on that. Okay, I'm just gonna move this. Thank you. Anyways. So, I'm just going to start off with the first chapter for today, and I'll, yeah, we'll see what happens. So, the first chapter is called The Rose Day. Wow, this is just so cool. Rebecca said in awe as she looked out the red plane window towards the ground below. From up in the open blue sky, she could be able to see very tall buildings, wide open fields, and all the people down in them. Rebecca was on her way towards the land of the rising sun. Tokyo, Japan, for a fun vacation. For a while, she's gotten really interested into different cultures and worldwide traditions. Inspired to start traveling towards those different countries, she decided to have Tokyo as her first stop. Also, what else was she say about the cool and interesting mystical creatures and mysterious ninjas and samurai that could be anywhere down in that beautiful city? She was sort of a sucker for mythologies, legends, and other sorts of fascinating stories. They just seemed to be way more interesting than her own home back in Canada. Rebecca then started to hear the captain of the front of the plane telling its passengers that the plane was about to land. Now, Rebecca has never been on a plane before, and was also, it was also excited to reach Tokyo at last. She couldn't wait to reach the ground once again. Once the plane came to a full stop at Merida's International Airport runway, Rebecca waited patiently for a few passengers to go ahead before her, being so Canadian, before she herself gathered a f the few things that she took with her on the plane ride and made her way off and on and down. Once she did that, she headed over towards the invader belt in order to pick up her luggage. After that, she followed a few other passengers towards the actual airport building itself. Inside the airport, Rebecca looked all around her in awe yet again. This looks even cooler than Pearson, she said to herself, while also trying to find her way towards where Ketsu was. Now Ketsu, and I have a picture here. See? I had to search online for good anime boys. What's his name? But yeah, I found, I found it was really cool. Was a Japanese pen pal. They got to know each other when Rebecca was one day inquiring if she could have someone in Japan to actually talk to her to find out what it was truly like over there. So then the two of them got to know each other some, and now Rebecca will be with them until she headed back home. Becca, over here! Rebecca suddenly turned to water. Turning around, she's, she faces the Ketsu himself. He was wearing a big pair of white headphones around his neck, connected to a black case phone. He also was trying to keep himself occupied, and so Rebecca showed up from the terminal gate. Ketsu was always we was also wearing a simple white t-shirt, black leather jacket, blue jeans, and black dresses. Hey, cat! Rebecca called out, making her way towards the brown-haired boy, carrying her luggage planner. How's it going? <laughs> she then asked him with a smile. Ketsu gave her a quick shrug. It's going good. And how was the flight over here? It was in Rebecca's turn to shrug. Well, you know... It being my first time flying and all, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to handle the jet lag. 
Kester chuckled at this a bit, shaking his head with Rebecca's sense of humor. Yeah, I hear you. I've had to face that problem. My supervisor made me tr take a business trip to the States for a few weeks, and I swear I just sleep like three days to wear out the leg. The two of them then shared their moment of laughter before they continued on with their conversation. Well, then again, let's see how it goes. Rebecca then said with a shrug. Kester shrugged in agreement. Fair enough. Now come on. I'll drive you to the downtown before we go out for dinner. Oops. Sorry. Thank you. Smiling, Rebecca picked up a backpack while Katsu helped to carry her other luggage towards her, his car in the parking lot. As they did so, Katsu called back to the door to protect. Yeah. Yeah. How can we be able to pack so, so little for almost three weeks worth? Rebecca was only able to struggle at this, then get going around her answer. Well, you know, I guess it has to do with the whole influence cadets has on me. Yeah, I am a cadet in real life, so if you understand, if you get it, you'll probably understand. Katsu nodded in understanding, before Rebecca had been quickly added. Besides, I always do my own laundry and stuff while I'm here, right? Well, yeah, Katsu answered. But you know, you're my handle and yes. I wouldn't mind doing it for you. Rebecca rolled her eyes playfully. Right. But I'm a very strongly independent woman. Katsu smirked at Rebecca's going for confidence at her statement. We'll see about that. The two of them eventually reached Katsu's car and loaded all the luggage into the vehicle's drink storage. After that, Rebecca got herself settled on the passenger seat. And Katsu came up quickly behind her, beside her, in the driver's seat. After driving out of the parking lot, an entire airport facility, Katsu drove Rebecca through downtown Tokyo and informed her of all the different sites, while also trying to focus on the road ahead of them. Rebecca, meanwhile, was looking out the window, barely lost in her own thoughts. So, come on, Rebecca, Katsu then asked, and said Fimo once they swapped the single red light. What are you feeling moved for for dinner? Rebecca took a time of thinking. Before she told her what wonder, wonderful pen pal and talk guide. Well, I've been craving sushi and such for a long time now. As well as boba tea. Sounds nice then. Catch her by with a smile. Just as the traffic lights turned bright green. He then continued driving for a few moments. Before they both before the both of them can, ended up driving towards a cute and fancy looking Japanese restaurant. This is where they would most likely serve sushi boba tea. Two brothers like Parking the car as close to the front doors as possible, Katsu got out of the car and led Rebecca inside, and towards a nice table for two. That was close to one of the windows, looking out on the streets and restaurant garden. A bit of music would be heard, faintly heard in the background, and Rebecca was really enjoying listening to it. This also made Katsu smile and laugh at her a bit, just before the waitress came by, wanting to know of what they wanted to drink, and to pass on the restaurant's menus. This then led towards a whole night of eating, talking, and laughing between both Katsu and Rebecca, Luckily, Katsu helped to order their food and drinks towards the kindly restaurant, the kindly waitress, and kept, and kept on making the entire first night of Tokyo exciting for Rebecca to experience firsthand. Eventually, while the two of them were eating dessert and Katsu was about to pay, the, pay their bill, Katsu was asking Rebecca, What do you want to do with this, Rebecca? Rebecca quickly swallowed her watering mouthful of sweetness down her throat and told her, I just kind of want to go for a quick walk around our block, then I'll have to pay. Katsu then nodded in agreement. Sounds good. Then, I'm thinking of showing you around my office and talking tomorrow. Rebecca responded. Sounds fun, Kat. Great. He replied. And quickly paid for the meal. A few moments later, they gathered up their things and drove back towards Katsu's apartment. <sighs> Once they got there, Rebecca and Katsu dropped over Rebecca's luggage into her guest bedroom. And this is the bedroom. Again, use the image on online, so... Sorry if it's not so much good, that much good looking, Katsu then told Rebecca apologetically. I usually don't get many visitors, much less immigrant ones. Rebecca only shook her smile, shook her head with a smile. No worry, no really, Kat. This is perfect. Thank you. A bit bashful, Katsu replied with, You're welcome. Now, you ready for that walk? He then asked her. That was then, Rebecca yawned loudly enough to cause some sort of splitting headache in the process. Chuckling, Katsu answered with, On second thought, I think Jacqueline's getting to you already. Shaking her head, Rebecca tried to deny. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of perfect. <laughs> Anyways. Katsu could only manage to roll his eyes without laughing at Rebecca's current attitude. Right then. I'll just be off to bed then. And don't worry, I'll let you sleep as much as you need to before I start showing around tomorrow. Before I start showing around. Nodding, Rebecca waved Katsu off as he left her to be in her room. Night then, Kat. Night, Becca. He answered before completely leaving her sight. 
Rebecca then looked towards her things before she got to work, got it all sorted out for the next few weeks, like she'd be saying here. She then quickly took a nice warm shower to make her more sleepy and at peace. In at peace, changed into her pajamas, pur- purple and white plaid PJs, and a purple and black simplified t shirt. Brushed her teeth, she had charged her phone and gone to bed. After that, she set her she set her glasses next to the phone, as well as the retainer case, as she positioned said item into her mouth. Looking at the time on her phone, Rebecca yawned, sighing, Yeah, can't wait for tomorrow. Then with that, Rebecca turned off her phone, turned off the lamp, and settled her down to sleep. Not fully aware of what was to come over the next twenty four hours or so. And yeah, then this was mentioned earlier, but I found it on a website like of Japanese names, which I use quite a lot for this during this story. And for this one is for Ketsu, it means from Japanese Ketsu meaning victory and O meaning hero and co- other combinations of Kenji may also possible. So yeah. Are you Basically, this introduces Rebecca as a character, as well as, like, a lot of actors as my character, and some of these things actually happened, like, I did have a craving for sushi at one point, and I do own those same PJs at home. So, and actually, yeah, I asked a question, like, do you think she can be shit with Ketsu? I thought it would be really funny, because I think, I think, in a way, they could be really cute together. But yeah, that was, this was the first chapter of My Loyal Bodyguard, TMNT 2012, Usaki, OC short, the first chapter by me. And I'll s- another thing I forgot to mention in the last video was that this kind of videos were inspired by Random Writer. So if you're watching, I really have to, I really have to thank you because you know her stories are really well done. If you want to go check her out, I'll drop I'll put her link down in the description and you can go check her out. And anyways, I really hope you guys like this. I'll try to get try to do more if you want me to i'll put my links down in the description in the description if you want to suggest anything don't be afraid to comment down below and that's and yeah so thank you everyone for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye